Today we're going to teach you five wicked football training drills that you can do without the football in order to improve your fitness, but also to help you get quicker feet and improve the way you move in general in a match. So buckle up and let's get rid of this guy for now. Number five, the knee lift, which is a nice little drill for getting those feet moving, but also working on your thighs and your core in general. Now, what you want to do here is have these little jumping gates or cones, that's up to you in the middle, and then you have a cone on each side of them. And basically, you just start from one side and then you do sideways knee lifts over the gates. And then when you get to the other side, you basically use the foot closest to the cone to plant that only that foot because with the other foot you're going to get up into this stance and then use the momentum you have in your body to kind of do the knee lifts over to the other side and do this again and you basically do this five or six times after which you can take a bit of a breather and then do it all over again of course Number four is something I call the cone crossover, which is also nice for doing footwork and really working the lower muscles. And here you set up two rows of five cones, but make sure that one row is a little bit offset to create this zigzag-like pattern. And what you want to do here is start from one cone, and then you run towards the other cone, and then you touch the cone with the hand the furthest away from it in this crossover-like motion, because this really forces you to bend down your knees and go low, working on that low center of gravity. And because the space is so relatively small, make sure that you bend those knees and do a shuffle-like motion when you run, instead of actually straightening up and running all the way sideways and turning to keep the momentum going. Drill number three is what I call square speed, which is one of those little gnarly drills that's going to give you a bit of everything you need. Basically, it's a square of poles, or cones if you don't have poles, with two poles at the end of it. And all you basically have to do is to sprint full speed through the course, like this. Now remember whew, that when you turn, you use the inner foot, the inside of the foot closest to the cone, in order to really maintain your momentum and not lose any power when you turn. And also try to bend down your knees, focus on a low point of gravity. Now doing this drill, which as you can hear, is pretty hard. I usually do between five to six repetitions, starting off on 60% and then ending off with a full blown 100% madness sprint to finish everything off. And after that, I breathe. Now, number two is the classic agility ladder, where you can really work on that fast footwork. Now, if you want to see some specific agility ladder drills, you should let us know in the comment section right down below, and I'll do a whole lot of them. But my favorite to do on the ladder here is what you could call the inside-outside cross. Well, whatever, call it what you want. But what you do is, you take, for instance, your right foot, you go inside one of the boxes, you follow with your left foot, then you go straight out with the right foot, follow kind of in the movement with the left foot, but then go forward a box with the left, follow your right, outside with the left, and then do that all the way at full speed, all the way down. What you have to remember is stay on your toes at all flipping times, because otherwise it doesn't work. But before we move on to drill number one, please go and make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell button on, of course, because not only are you going to benefit in the sense that you're going to see all our latest videos, all the skill tutorials, boot videos, interviews with the stars and all that jazz, the second the videos drop. But also, it's going to motivate us to create some even more kick-ass content in the future. So thank you for being part of the Unisport Life family. And now, let's move on to numero uno. And finally, number one, the Scottish run, which is a drill I actually love to hate because this one, guys, is a killer. But it's so good for you that it's not even funny. 
Now the drill is very straightforward. You have three cones out there, four, eight, and 12 meters away. And all you have to do is run to a cone, go back to the sideline, and then run to the next cone, go back to the sideline, so forth, in full flipping sprint. I'm talking adult, hardcore, all you can give sprint here. Now when you get back, you get 30 seconds of rest. And then you go again until you physically cannot run a single meter more. So pressure yourself and force yourself into squeezing every last drop of energy out of your legs and out of your lungs. Because it might suck, it might suck bad, but it's so good for your overall stamina that you won't even begin to imagine. So there you go, my friends, five wicked football training drills that you can do without the football. But as you know, this is just the tip of the proverbial iceberg. So what should we teach you next? Do you want to learn some new skills, some other football drills? Well, you should let us know in the comment section, as always, right down below. Now, of course, also, if you want to cop the CR7 Chapter 7 Superfly 6 boots that I'm rocking right here, and I understand why, you can do so by clicking the link and go to unisports.com right over there. Of course, you should also go and do yourself that huge favor, subscribe to our channel with the notifications on, of course, to see all our latest videos and skill tutorials the second they drop. And finally, if you want to learn some pretty cool locomotive skills, you can click the video right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio. Ah, missed you, buddy. Let's get to work.